All right, everyone, it's time for the main video of the day, of course, regarding BitChute. Uh, as you see in the title, I know it's magical how linguistics work. Uh, Sargon of Akkad has uh, voiced concern about me being the top person on the platform. Now, this, this is slightly tongue-in-cheek. It's meant to be humorous, so, you know, it's, it's not like we're actually at odds or anything. Uh, but he wants to take BitChute over for liberalism. Uh, I disagree. I think that the clankers need to be number one on BitChute. So I'm asking you all to join me there. I definitely want to be the first person to hit 30,000 on the platform, getting close to it. I'll, I'll point this out. At some point, Infowars presumably will surpass me in terms of how many people are following them on the platform, simply because when you've got a, a starting audience of several million, that indeed is considerably larger than about, you know, 270 thousand as I have on YouTube. So that's basically inevitable, but I'd like to be the first to hit 30k. And also, I'm going to point this out. It bears it bears mentioning over and over the same is true of like Daily Motion, Steam at Gab, Mine, especially now with their token system which works very well. I'm very happy about that change. You should definitely use mines.com by the way. Um these sites are excellent places to be. They are, in general, now, as a, as a proportion of their original user base, they're growing fairly quickly. So far more quickly than they have for a number of years. They're getting tied in with crypto and the blockchain and all these things. They're innovating. I believe this is the future of the internet, that it will inevitably begin to supplant the older wave of the internet. Any big tech firm that doesn't end up branching out into something that is like these sites is going to have problems. That's over the longer haul, 10 to 15, maybe even 20 years. It'll take a very long period of time, just like the, the dot-com growth. The original internet for the first half decade or so of its inception is pretty loose there. There wasn't a whole lot going on for a lot of people. It was interesting, certainly it was growing, but it really picks up after the dot-com bubble burst. We're still waiting for the social media bubble to implode, I think. Here's the thing. If you're not following my work, on one or more alternative platforms, there's a chance that you will wake up one day and you won't have any spoons to clank. You won't have any sipping coffee and you won't have any acerbic responses to some John McCain style warmonger keeling over. You're not going to have that because I might be depersoned at any given time. I don't sit there worrying about it. It's like, well, if it happens, it happens, I suppose. But I intend to keep making the same content I'm making now. I'm never going to stop. There will always be a way for me to make that content. Nothing's going to prevent that fact. It's like, you know, they're wasting their time trying to censor people anyway. Even people who are actually hate-filled, they find their own enclaves on the internet. Some of them are more powerful now than they were before, specifically because they got targeted and they got to play the victim card. And then, of course, people being illegitimately targeted, you know, they get even more power from that because, like, almost a form of martyrdom. It's like, hey, they're saying that I'm filled with hate. I'm not. You can look at the content yourself. We've seen cases. There have been several cases now where people have been spared deplatforming on main sites because they were able to point to uh, uh, similar content on alt tech sites. It's like, I think it was when Dapperton, I think it was Dapperton, when he was banned, and he's like, well, this video, you know, struck down, causing me to be banned. He still had it on BitChute. So it was possible for someone like me to refer to the video and convince myself, yes, indeed, it doesn't go against the TOS in any measurable sense. It absolutely doesn't. Therefore, I am going to defend him more. It's basically a safeguard, too. And by the way, BitChute is getting more functional as more people join the site. Some people have talked about the fact that for, for smaller users, uh, their videos may not load because, you know, no one's seeding it, no one's watching it at the time. Whereas for someone like me, like on Infowars or Mall New or Sargon, for larger users, it's, it's a more stable platform. I believe that various fixes and are in the works for that. And there's also, uh, you know, the fiscal side of BitChute is coming. It's going to be a little bit like what Mines is doing, if I understand it correctly. It's going to be an, in an incredible increase, I believe, to the site. The same holds true for all of these others. If you're not on Gab, I don't know why you're not using it. If you're not on Mines especially, I don't know why you're not there. They've begun to grow probably exponentially again because of their tying into the Ethereum blockchain now with the Mines tokens. Steam it slash DTube is, is highly innovative. They just changed their site less than a month ago. Now they have streaming there. I think it's wonderful as these sites add more and more functionality and especially if they cooperate I encourage all of these sites, you must pull together. You don't have to have a non-competition agreement. You're still technically competing, 
But don't, I, I pointed this out months ago when like people were bickering back and forth over some of the Latter-day blood sports stuff. I'm like, it's like you're swatting at a mosquito and ignoring the fact that you're being chased by a bear. You're being hunted down by mainstream social media that controls 90% of the internet at large within half a dozen companies, and you're worried about some other fucking YouTuber said something unkind to you. Ignore it. Get over it and fucking grow up and work together. If not, then, you know, we all lose. At the very least, even if it's inevitable that the paradigm technologically shifts over and eventually liberty wins out and, and refreshes itself online, I believe that will happen. It'll be a longer time and a lot more people will get a lot more abused before that happens. We can prevent that. So I'm asking you all to join me on BitChute. We've got to, we've got to stave off the liberalist menace. Clankerdom must, must run BitChute. It is important. Uh, you know, and, you know, be funny, I ask you to join me everywhere. My links are in the description on all my videos. Even a site like Daily Motion takes on a new relevance simply because it is not part, it is not under the same corporate umbrella as some of the other big tech firms, even though it technically is a big older tech firm. Uh, it's, it's surprising how high their Alexa ranking is. I'm assuming that the French speaking aspect of the site, because it's based in Paris, is the one that's more uh, actually there. And so if you're English speaking and you're looking up English terms, you're gonna see relatively less. But yeah, you should join me on BitChute. It is a fun site. Now, many, many large creators are already there. At the very least, uh, even those that, like myself that aren't yet creating exclusives for the site, everything that I make here on YouTube within 10, 15 minutes is also on BitChute. It's an automated process. So you'll get notified of these things more easily. The same holds true for some of these other sites as well. Steam it a little bit less so, because sometimes the site glitches out. So we got to keep that in mind. That's about all. Peace out.